What's up guys, my name is Wang and we are back with another weapon guide and this time we are taking a look at the Odin machine gun or as the Valorant team refers to it as a glorified bullet hose. This video was a pleasure to make and probably the funnest series of games that I've had in a while. To begin, as always, let's talk about the damage output of the Odin. Without walking through the numbers individually, you essentially have two damage thresholds. The first and optimal range is at 0 to 30 meters, and then there is a little bit of fall off past 30 meters. The Odin will spin up like a minigun and fires at a rate of 12 to 15.6 rounds per second, 15.6 being its maximum rate that it achieves shortly after you start to spray with it. The Odin costs 3200 credits and has high wall penetration capabilities, which between the fire rate and the penetration, I think you all know exactly where this is going. If there is one thing I want you to take away from this guide, it is that the Odin is far better to use when it's scoped in than when it's unscoped, and this is for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that the Odin starts firing at its maximum rate of fire when scoped in, and the second and most surprising reason is that the bullet spray is exponentially easier to control when you are scoped as well, and I'll demonstrate this in the range a little further in. So. Being a bullet hose with high wall penetration, the Odin is the natural candidate for spraying and praying through walls. If you have an angle at the beginning of a round and your opponent starts behind a wall that they need to push to peek you, um, let's say the window on Haven for example, you can time your spray to approximate where your opponent is at that given time and you may get some very important picks before the round really even starts. And even if you don't get a kill right off the bat, you may deal damage to your opponents as well before they decide that it isn't even worth pushing anymore, and in some cases you may get mid control for free if that's the lane that you're targeting. Okay guys, so as promised, here is my revelation about why scoping in makes it so much easier to control the spray. As you can see, the first spray makes a tall bow, and then when scoped in, the bow is much shorter and much more compact. Now I want you to focus on where the crosshair is and where the bullets are actually hitting the wall on this one. You barely have to do any spray control when you're scoped in. The crosshair was at least a centimeter off of where the bullets were actually hitting for the first spray and almost directly on top of them when scoped in the second time. As I played more and more with the Odin, I started to make this realization, and funny enough, this footage is all in chronological order over the course of a few days when I was shooting this, so you will notice that I actually started really favoring the scope, and as a result, my scores were getting better and better as time went on. Like all of my guides, I try to give a good example of the time and place to use the weapon we're reviewing, and the Odin is one that I would use to punish players that continuously peek and push lanes aggressively, and make sure you put yourself in a position where you are able to aim where you think they'll be, and the walls must also be penetrable. Who is the type of player that will get the most value and success with the Odin? These are the players like me, that have average to low aim, but higher than average game sense. And when you're able to predict when and where your foes are going to push, you can truly capitalize on this for its full potential. I hope I was able to teach you at least one new thing about the Odin today, and if you have any other cool gimmicks for this weapon, please leave a comment below to share with all of us. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this from me in the future. I'm going to let the remainder of the footage roll for you guys here. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, wang out. Defenders win! <laughs>